Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, first of all, a different camera. I may talk about this camera uh, uh, just a bit in the video's description. For now, let's talk about the video's main topic, which is how you can set up your own uh, WireGuard server on Amazon Light Sale service. Okay. Initially, there were actually two parts to this video. In the first part, I would have uh, demonstrated how you can set up your WireGuard server on Amazon LightSail. And in the second part, I would have uh, uh, showcased how you can set up your WireGuard server's connection on PFSense, okay? But WireGuard and PFSense, uh, let's just, they don't, they don't have gone well together. So for now, uh, WireGuard is being removed from pfsense for okay they it will be it will be again re-implemented in the future so now there will be only uh, a part where you would be able to set up your own wireguard server and use it on whatever your device of your choice so let's without any further ado let's start so hey everyone, here we are inside uh, Amazon Light Sales dashboard. To set up our own WireGuard server, we have to first of all create a new instance. To do that, simply click on create instance, uh, choose your region, your OS, in our case I am using Debian. Uh, choose your plan according to your needs. Then you can change the name if you like. I'm just using WireGuard. Click on create instance. Okay, so now our WireGuard instance is ready. Click on its name, go to networking, and click on create static IP. Click on create. And we have now attached this static IP to this instance. To assign this static IP, click on reboot. Give it a minute or two. Okay. Okay, we are ready. The first command is quite generic. Now our instance is up to date. I'll have the link to the script in the video's description. Uh, first of all, you would have to copy this, okay? If you directly want to copy this whole, just do this, paste it, and before bash, type in sudo, okay? And press enter. Uh, you don't have to do anything here. Press enter. If you would like to change the port, you can do that here. Uh, for the client name, I'm using WG. Uh, you can choose whatever server DNS servers for, uh, okay. But we will be able to change our client server later. Okay. For now, I'm just using Quad9. Okay. Just press enter. Okay, so our server is now ready to open our config file, click uh, type sudo cat root wg.conf. Okay, here is our config file. Before doing anything else, uh, you, are you, you, you are you seeing this end word? Just copy the this port, okay? whatever port you are using go to networking and click on add rule uh, the protocol is udp and just type in this port number and click on create so this forward for port forward the port 551820 now just you can just copy this to a file or directly import 
in WireGuard. Add tunnel, add empty tunnel, WG. Okay, so click save and click on active. Let's see what is our IP. And it's this. Okay, so it's this easy. And our WireGuard server is now up and running. Okay. Okay, now uh, this part is done. If you want to change your DNS servers, you can just click on edit and change the uh, these DNS servers. Okay, uh, to what to whatever uh, DNS servers of your choice. Okay, everyone. So we are done for this video. I have the hopes to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Okay.